But you know, I was quirkless too as a kid. All Might and Midoriya are the two most inspirational characters in Boku no Hero Academia. They inspire not only other heroes, but they also inspire the ideologies of a few villains, whose motivations are harbored by All Might. But what I want to know is what makes All Might and Midoriya so special, and what trait do they carry which allows them to inspire others to the magnitude that they do. Let us begin with All Might, and the individuals that he has inspired. We know that All Might himself inspired the wave of people who decided to use their quirks to fight crime, but he has also inspired different definitions of what it means to be a hero. Bakugo's definition of being a hero is winning. For him, his desire to become a hero is after watching All Might win every single one of his battles, regardless of how many people he was fighting or who he was fighting. And Bakugo wants to replicate this by winning and being number one in his class and by eventually wanting to be the number one hero. Endeavor's motivations also are harbored by All Might. The sole reason for his son Todoroki's existence of having two quirks is because of All Might. Todoroki was essentially bred to become the number one hero and to surpass All Might. Stain appoints All Might as the only hero he would allow to be defeated by. All Might inspired Stain to become a hero initially, but whose views would be tainted by other heroes later on. Stain still views All Might as a true hero, and believes that other heroes should aspire to be like him. Tomura, leader of the League of Villains, his conviction is fueled by All Might. He realizes that Stain's basis for operating the way he does is because of All Might and he realizes that essentially All Might is the cause and the root of everything. And finally, we have Midoriya. Midoriya's definition of being a hero is being someone who is capable of only good, whose sole purpose is to help others who cannot help themselves. By his own hand, his definition of being a hero is meddling in others' affairs and people's lives, whether they overtly state that they need help or not. All Might's consistent drive and motivation to help people and save those in need are the reason he is ranked number one. But I believe the reason All Might and Midoriya are this way is a trait that they share, which is the fact that they are quirkless by nature. All of the conventional heroes are heroes because they have some sort of motivation or reasoning behind it. And oftentimes, the quirk that they possess can influence them into wanting to be a hero. Without a quirk, being a hero is a very difficult and a dangerous task. With villains like Stain and Tomura and All for One, not having an ability to help you escape danger by force or an ability that aids you to flee, being a traditional hero, traditional being one that fights evil on the field, in the open, is not a rational decision. If we take a look at Midoriya and All Might, these are two heroes that before receiving one for all, they were quirkless. This means that All Might and Midoriya are individuals who were ready to put their lives on the line without any sort of defense. This heart and unwavering sense of justice is why All Might is the number one hero and why Midoriya will become the greatest hero. The notion of saving people with a smile being the ultimate symbol of peace to sacrifice yourself beyond your own limits for the people is what makes them one person for all the people, one for all. All Might created a culture of inspiration, and that night when All Might handed Midoriya the strand of hair that contained one for all, I always thought that he gave him a little bit more than that ability of strength, but he also gave Midoriya the ability of inspiration and an even greater motivation. Now we see the confident Midoriya who inspired his classmates, the very same Midoriya who taught Bakugo that it is okay to rely on others, especially if the end goal is victory. The Midoriya who inspired Todoroki to accept his lineage and accept the person that he is and who he comes from, and that in order to be number one, all of your efforts must be given to any task. The Midoriya whose simple fight with Shinso gave him confidence and reminded the viewers of his humble beginnings. The Midoriya who was willing to sacrifice himself against Stain when he was meddling in affairs that did not pertain to him. And the very same Midoriya who Ochako aspires to be in tense moments.
Midoriya and All Might harbor this unique trait of inspiration and definition of justice through their experiences of being powerless. Midoriya and All Might represent two people who are willing to sacrifice themselves to help those in need and even to help those who they are fighting against. We can only wonder who Midoriya and All Might will inspire next, but you can inspire hope in others the way they do.